So yeah, we're sitting at like 20 FPS at the moment. 25, uh, probably an average of 25. Okay, so here we are. We're sitting above 200 frames per second at the moment after a few modifications. It's not nearly as pretty as it was before, but that's not what we're looking for on this channel, right? We're looking to be competitive. So sitting above 200 frames per second uh, definitely helps that. Okay, so we're making a video on how to up our frame rate. If uh, you're wondering why my screen looks a little blurry, uh, do stay tuned because I have a lot to go over with you guys and I'll explain to you why it is, okay? All right, so let's get started. How to get your frames up. So what you'll wanna do is go to your search button. Go ahead and type in device manager. So the first thing we're doing is making sure that our drivers are up to date. So we're gonna do the sound and the video drivers. So NVIDIA high definition audio driver, update driver, search automatically. Okay, Windows has determined that your best driver is already installed. Okay, so I've already went through these, made sure that they're all good. The next part is gonna be a little more complicated because if you've got a graphics card of any sort, you're gonna to wanna to update that driver and they update pretty frequently. Now, with NVIDIA, we do have GeForce Experience, which is pretty uh, key to keeping those drivers up to date. They remind you every five seconds. So if we go ahead and open it up, we go to drivers and it looks like there's one available available to me so we're going to click download now if you have an amd graphics card your process is going to be a little bit different but you can always refer to the website and double check make sure that your drivers are up to date these are important because they do optimize your games okay so this next part of the video is pertaining to the operating system itself uh, what we want to do is try to make it as light as possible um, it's kind of a hefty subject to cover all at once. I did make a video on it yesterday. It's about 20 minutes long. And what I mean by making it lighter is stopping background apps, uh, maybe startup apps that don't need to be there uh, in order to free up your CPU, GPU, uh, even your ethernet. So I do recommend to watch that video. I'll post a link of it in the description below. Um, it's a big part of this. So like I said, I, I do want to stress to you a little bit that it's pretty important to free up your operating system for gaming as much as you can. So this next part may turn some of you guys off, but you have to decide whether you, know, you want to play a pretty game or you want to be competitive. I did mention my screen resolution being lower. Um, there's good reason for that. First of all, you want your screen resolution to match your game resolution. It reduces input lag. Uh, second of all, the lower the resolution, the more you free up your graphics card. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have my settings set to. So if you right click on your screen, again, I do have an NVIDIA graphics card. If you have an AMD graphics card, uh, the steps are probably uh, semi-similar but you know you probably know how to navigate through that better than I do so we're gonna go to the NVIDIA control panel and if you don't have a graphics card there is ways for you to change your resolution as well uh, it's probably somewhere within the control panel okay um, if you want to see my 3d settings I'll just go ahead and show them to you really quickly so you can pause the video at any time and take a look at those but the part we're going to be concentrating on is changing the resolution. I have my resolution set at 1024 by 768. If you have a you know, better gaming PC than I do, and mind you, I have an i5 7500 and a 750 Ti in here. Uh, I could game at a higher resolution. However, I do want that frequent 200 frames per second. So this is what I choose to go by. If you're on a laptop, I would recommend to go with the 800 by 600, you know, if it's not a super powerful laptop, you know, we do know they make those. If you have, uh, you know, semi-decent, you know, I don't know, i5 7600K with a 1060 Ti or something in it, then you could go with 720p. 
as far as people gaming on 1080p i don't i don't know of a lot of people that have you know five to ten thousand dollar computers that can handle 1080p at 200 frames per second and if you do kudos to you you know but we're gonna go ahead and stick with the 1024 by 768 and that's why my resolution is so low so it matches my resolution in game and i can get that consistent 200 frames per second without a whole lot of input lag also if you have a 144 hertz monitor uh, a lot of people don't realize that they have to set it up um make sure your refresh rate is set to 144 hertz uh, i've seen so many people plug in their monitors and don't realize that it hasn't it hasn't made a difference you know so uh definitely do that so go to click apply so no changes were made because we were already at 1024. um Again, that's why my screen looks as blurry as it does. That's a pretty important step in all of this process. You got to be honest with yourself as far as uh, how great your hardware is and stuff like that. And if playing at lower resolutions isn't for you, like I said, I mean, uh, it's, it's hard to be competitive without doing so. Alrighty, so the next part is to change our in-game settings to, you know, match our operating system now. So... You go to the three little bars here, go to your settings tab. So you're, you should be at the video settings by default. If not, you can click the little tab up there. So in order to get to that resolution that your monitor is displaying at, you'll want to go away from full screen and go to window to full screen, okay? Um, your frame rate limit. Some people claim that their mouse feels jittery when they don't cap it out. Um, and then some people say, like, if, oh, if you have a 144 hertz monitor, 144 uh, frames is all you need. No, that's not true. That's not true. The higher the frames, the less input uh, lag that you get, okay? So I always leave mine unlimited. However, if you have any sort of screen tearing, it's too unbearable, then, yeah, go ahead and switch it up, you know. But personally, I don't have that issue. So as far as the video settings... So your 3D resolution should be set to 100% because our, you know, resolution itself is already set uh, relatively low. Um, the view distance. I see a lot of people insist on putting it medium, far, epic. So the view distance applies to, uh, you know, little modules around the map. But it doesn't necessarily apply to the characters around the map. Not only that, if you have it set to near, you can still see your character or an opponent from so far away like so far where if I mean if they've got a shot off on you for somewhere it's gonna be like a 300 meter shot keep it on near save yourself the GPU usage okay shadows off anti-aliasing off it all it does is smooth edges uh, shadows or shadows you know uh, textures keep them at low effects keep them at low uh, I know some people think of effects as somewhat competitive just because when you throw nades it does show if you have your effects a little higher it does show the brightness of it uh, for me it's not enough to you know waste some GPU usage on that post-processing I have it as low vsync off so what vsync does is it matches your frames to your screen mod just keep it off okay um, motion blur Please, please, please keep this one off. Oh my goodness gracious. Motion blur, what it does is when you turn your mouse real quick, it kind of blurs out the screen. That That's very, very unhelpful, especially when you're trying to hit flick shots. Okay, And then show FPS, of course, keep it on. Um, that way you can monitor what's going on here. Okay. All right, so the next part of this video is to turn off the replays. The game does have, uh, you know, a video recording device integrated within it. Uh, we won't be using that if we want, you know, max FPS. So what you'll want to do is go to the little cog here, scroll all the way down. And where it says record replays, turn that off. Record large team replays off. And NVIDIA highlights, if it's available to you, go ahead and turn that off as well. Um, do keep in mind, you won't have your highlights recorded anymore. But that's... Uh, that's the price we pay for higher FPS. All right, and then the last part of this video is ping. So unfortunately, there's only so much we can do to control ping. Uh, sometimes, you know, if you live out in the middle of nowhere, uh, you're far away from a server, you'll 
unfortunately just have more ping than somebody else. Um, if maybe your internet service provider isn't super great, your download and upload speeds aren't super great, then that could affect it too. Also, you know, people within the house also using the internet at the same time uh, could affect it. So there's not a whole lot we can do about that. One little thing we can do about that is go to your settings cog here. Um, just, you know, stick to your region. I know you can go to auto and it'll always try to pair you to the closest one, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, I stick to my re region. Like uh, if it can't find me a game or anything like that, then I mean, I don't really want to play at 172 uh, ping. So again, you can just keep it to where you live. And then one more tip to that. If you want the little thing that shows your ping up here, what you'll do is you'll actually have to go into a game. Um, for some reason, it doesn't do it while you're in the regular settings. So we'll go into a game and I'll show you how to go ahead and set that up so you, you can see your ping over here in the corner. You see, so I'm sitting at 31 ping. It may be a little blurry for you guys. So what you'll do is go to the little cog. You go right here, it says game and HUD. You go to HUD and then where it says net debug stats, you want to make sure that's on. And then you'll have your ping set up there in the corner for you. All right, so we're all finished up. If um, this helped you increase your FPS by any chance, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if it did help you, please like and also subscribe. I will continue to make content like this. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can continue to get better at this game.